The latest spacecraft in China's Shenzhou program, that's Shenzhou 10, blasted off from its launch site in the Gobi Desert on Tuesday. The mission, the second with three astronauts on board, and China's fifth manned space mission will also be its longest yet at 15 days. The spacecraft was launched aboard a Long March 2F rocket and will transport the crew to the Tiangong-1, uh, which functions as an experimental prototype for a larger Chinese space station that's due to be launched in 2020. The two male and one female astronauts will spend a couple of days in the cramped capsule before docking with the orbiting Tiangong-1 module. Once there, Major Wang Yaping, the second Chinese woman in space, will present a physics lesson about microgravity uh, to children back on Earth. The successful launch has certainly sparked a lot of discussion online, uh, and not only about this mission, but also regarding China's space program in general. So uh, to hear some of that conversation, let's cross over now to the newsroom and our researcher, Julia Liu. Uh, Julia, first of all, can you give us a, a brief idea of, of how this news, I mean, the, the launch uh, was reported and what sort of reaction has been to it? Sure. Well, uh, it's uh, difficult to exaggerate how widely the news was reported here in China. Well, basically, wall-to-wall -wall coverage on news shows, commentary programs and papers. Well, as well as that, uh, TV stations are running uh, documentaries about uh, previous uh, launches. And of course, our uh, websites have uh, feature sections uh, with information ranging from uh, technical details or to light reports about what astronauts eat or how informally President Xi uh, addressed them during a call. And uh, as you can tell, uh, it's the astronauts that are the main talking point. And this comment from uh, Tongxian Zhuangyuan on Sina.com is fairly representative of the majority of posts I've seen. Well, although they look relaxed on TV, we'll never know how much pain these heroes have suffered to achieve all this. My praise for your safe stay in space. But uh, there has been some uh, debate about one small detail of the female astronaut uh, you mentioned, Wang Yaping, the second Chinese woman in space. Well, in the media briefing, Wang said that she wanted to show that uh, the 1980s generation is uh, one that dares to accept challenges. Well, this sometimes uh, maligned generation referred to as uh, post-80 in, uh, in China are those born after 1979. Now, on her official resume, Wang fits into this as her birth date is given as January 1980. However, last year, uh, when Wang was one of the two women pilots uh, selected as uh, astronaut candidates, the official date of the birth given in the PLA Daily and other mainland media outlets was uh, April 1978. Well, whatever the truth, uh, the discrepancy has certainly gotten at users talking. And uh, uh, Bu Xu Shuo says on Tieku 001.com. Well, I don't think this is an error. Otherwise, how could we trust such a huge project if uh, such a mistake really existed? This looks like those are done on purpose. Everything in China has to fit in to mean something of a significance. Now, um, besides the discussion of the astronauts, uh, yet another successful launch certainly shows uh, a step forward in China's rapidly developing space program. How, how do that users feel about the overall program? Well, as happens in other countries uh, with the space pro programs, uh, there's uh, quite a bit of debate in China over whether it is worth putting so much effort and money into this endeavor. Of course, uh, there's a national sense of pride, and uh, there are certainly millions of fans of the program, and many of them on the internet. For example, comments like this one from Xuan Bingbian on Weibo.com are everywhere. Well, every launch of a spacecraft carries the dream of Chinese people. I'm just 18, but I've watched every launch since Yang Liwei, uh, our first astronaut, made it into space. I'm just proud to be Chinese. But there are also some uh, naysayers who feel that uh, there's no practical purpose in this, or at least a misunderstanding of priorities. And this poster has this rather ironic comment on iPhone.com. Well, if you ask me what does the success of Shenzhou 10 mean to you, I'll tell you. It shows that for our government, solving corruption, improving education, housing, medical service, and food safety are all even harder than putting people into space. Well, uh, Huang Sir Han Mang says on Weibo.com uh, also seems a little down, uh, downbeat. Is there any practical purpose served here? Scientific research? Knowing space better? The news on TV keeps repeating over and over that this shows how strong our country is, uh, as uh, we are one of the only three countries together with Russia and states that can do this. But so what? Well, uh, whatever about the arguments on that side, nobody uh, can deny that China's space program has made huge strides in, in a very short time. So uh, what expectations do net users have uh, for the future, for what comes next? Well, there's certainly quite a lot of optimism uh, out there. Uh, first of all, many posters are putting a lot of hope on that the Chinese space station due to be launched in 2020, for which the Tiangong first uh, is a sort of a rehearsal. And this is from a poster called the Li Shanjing. 
I still remember when the United States invited several countries to celebrate the launching of its International Space Station, including Russia, and only China was excluded. Well, I believe that drove China to put in more extra effort. Now see, we are going to have our own space station. Well, other posters uh, mentioned the possibility of working with other countries uh, when the space station is completed. And uh, this poster is optimistic that uh, will happen, saying, Well, I heard news that uh, some European astronauts are even beginning to learn Chinese in preparation for cooperation in our space station. That's just what I hope to see. And uh, finally, uh, Gong Jie'er on Weibo.com has uh, some longer-term hopes. Well, of course, the manned space flights, uh, as in other countries, has more political purpose than a practical one. But I do hope to see an unmanned uh, landing on the moon or an unmanned Mars exploration program. Well, China should do something really amazing with such great ability. Okay, thanks for that, Julia. And that was uh, China Tech researcher Julia Liu with online reaction to the launch of Shenzhou 10, the latest uh, in China's manned uh, space program, that mission uh, to take 15 days. Next up on China Tech, some of the top trending phrases on China's most popular search engines.